Hello everyone, Maslight Visual here with another video. Today we're gonna look at how to import Google Earth site terrain model into ArchiCAD. Not every time you have the right survey map for your site coordinates at the beginning of the project, but you can extract this information from Google Earth to get going with your design of your project. Let me ask you to subscribe if you are new to this channel and turn on the notification bell for updates, um, new content like this one. We also have a downloadable ArchiCAD BIM resources that are at the moment a great offer. I will also put the link in the description for you guys to access it. Before any further ado, let's jump straight onto it. This process we are starting in SketchUp. Let's open a SketchUp. There we go. The template files are here. I'll pick the architectural millimeters and then let's select this lady delete go to file geolocation let's add a location this gives us an access to google earth or google maps so i already have the site that i want us to use it's it's surrounded by these hills so just find just find something that you can use I think this part will be okay. Hit on select region, then make sure you adjust it to a sizable um, size of your your site because you don't want to just include information that is unnecessary and that will um, contribute to the size of your file. So surroundings that are only gonna affect the site are the ones that I'm gonna pick like so and then hit import there we go so if you if you look at this uh, it doesn't represent the uh, actual slope of our site so what i'm going to do is going go back to file geolocation then show the terrain this is what we want then the next stage is to identify or define the boundary of the site so we're gonna just use this shape to to pick the corners of the plot do the same find another point oh. and then let's check another one Somewhere make sure guys this is on the face of your your terrain meaning the surface whatever you are drawing should be on the surface of our our terrain another point will be let me just go a bit somewhere here perfect and then we need to send this information to oh this one is floating so this is floating let's redo it select it delete what's going on delete do it again make sure it's on the on the face yeah something like that exactly so let's send this information to architect you're gonna file save as um I'll call it site site model then the version sketchup version 8 because arcade does allow us to only import models that are a version 8 and downwards so save replace then let's go to our archicad open a new archicad file and then from here i'm going to file enter operability merge merge from file to load our, our site model make sure the the file format is on sketchup then select the file okay so this location settings will pop out it's an information about the coordinates of the project arcade has um, uh, coordinates that comes with the default template so I wanna use these true ones, which is uh, I imported. I'm gonna overwrite 
the project location with this imported coordinates then hit ok make sure you find this reference point in your archicad world and then click on that to load your your site model there we go normally the picture on the plan view doesn't really represent the actual site if you go to 3d you find here everything is represented well it's a true representation of the the site together with these points so for the plot so let's go back to the floor and then i'm gonna place the mesh go to the mesh tool then draw a mesh on top of this object that is being loaded from from sketchup make sure you just it's tidy something like this and then go to 3d and then let's stretch the height of the site terrain to some just like that to accommodate the height of the of the object so what i'm going to do let's right click select the mesh then right click connect bring solid element operation and then this is going to be the target um, the operator is going to be the object from SketchUp, we'll just select it, get it as an operator, do it on the 3D window, then choose operation to subtraction with auto upward extrusion, then hit execute. This is what will happen. Now we have a clear defined um, site mesh. So what we need to do, we need now to define the boundary of our site go back to plane and then i'm gonna use the wall tool to make sure it's not a complex profile let's just draw to connect these points to define our boundary of our site just using a wall tool do another one there there we go the last one perfect if you check on the 3d Let's adjust these walls. Select. Make sure the height is significant. I'll say 8,000. And then let's drop them down a bit by minus 2.5. Sure. For sure. I think everything is super. What we are going to do, let's now switch off the layer for this. I already created a layer that I'll put the site model on it. So find something like site model perfect what i'm going to do i'm going to op um, do the operation of solid element again to clean up this so this is going to be the target and then the mesh is going to be the operator this time around the operation is going to be intersection we execute and then take the selection as the target so as, as the operator so and then the mesh as the target and then the operation is going to be subtraction hit execute perfect you can get rid of this if you zoom in now you can see a clear defined site just like that you can now start your design work using this information as you can see Thank you guys for watching if if you are interested in this type of content make sure you subscribe and comment share and uh, like uh, this video for us to keep going guys thank you once again i'll see you in the next video